Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today is another makeup tutorial, but it is very natural. Um, I wanted to give you all something that you could wear on a day-to-day -day basis or that you could wear if you were younger um, and you just want to look that could bring out your natural beauty that wasn't very heavy, almost look like you're not wearing any at all. And since the fifth series of Downton Abbey is currently airing here in the United States, I figured that was the perfect way to tie it in to something. So this is my Downton Abbey inspired natural makeup look. Now, I recently read an interview with the makeup artist on Downton Abbey, Maggie Vaughn, and in the article she described that everything she does for them is very, very airbrushed, it's very, very light and simple, um, as in the Edwardian era, the era, they did not wear a lot of makeup. So I took what she said in the article and I kind of came up with my own version for all of you, using all drugstore makeup, very, very inexpensive, as I promised. So here's how I did it. I'm going to start with Revlon's Photo Ready Airbrush Mousse Makeup and just apply that all over my face using my fingers to really blend it in and then I'm going to blend it out fully with a foundation brush. You can also use a sponge. Next I'm going to take the Invisible Concealer from CoverGirl and just dot under my eyes, around my nose, and on any spots that the foundation missed and just fully blend this in. Again, you really want this to look like no makeup so don't have any harsh lines. Next I'm going to take a Sonia Kasha Cream Blush in Petal and just apply this to my cheeks using my finger and then blend this out also with a foundation brush. This is really, really important that you don't have any lines here. You just want it to look like a nice, healthy glow. Next I'm going to take L'Oreal Paris True Match Mineral Powder and just buff this over my T-zone. This is just to eliminate shine while keeping the skin dewy. If you do anything to your brows, do it now, but as always, I just use a clear brow gel. To keep the eyes natural, I'm going to use the Pixie by Petra Ultimate Beauty Kit 2nd Edition and use this pink blush as an eyeshadow and just apply it all over my lid. Next, I'm going to take this taupey brown color and just apply it in the crease in circular motions to create a little bit of depth. Next, I'm going to take the Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen in Black Cocoa and just barely line my eyes about halfway across. This is just to add some shading and some contouring to your eye. It's not about having a big thick line. You shouldn't really see it at all. And then I just blend it out with my finger. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes, as always. And for the mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and just put a nice, small, gentle coat um, on my eyelashes. For my lips, I'm going to use Revlon Color Burst Balm Stain in Smitten and just apply a little bit to my lips and then blend it out using a lip brush. This is, again, you just want to create a nice little stain on your lips, nothing too harsh. And then to finish, I'm going to line my lips in a Sonia Kashuk pencil in Nude, just to give my lips some definition. So that is it. Again, you can see it's very, very simple, just brings out your natural beauty. This is something that's perfect if you're younger or you want something quick. Um, again, it's not supposed to look like you're wearing any makeup at all. So I hope you all love this look. I will continue to do more everyday looks with drugstore brands. I will be incorporating those more. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. If you missed my video on starting ballet as an adult, please feel free to click it. Also, you can click the subscribe button to subscribe, and here are my social media links. Thanks again for watching.